Hey guys, what's up? Lovely good morning to everyone. So today I come up with a very useful and important topic and the topic which I am going to cover today, how to set up Docker container as a build agent in Jenkins. Guys, agent is one of the main component of any pipeline and those who doesn't know about the agent, let me give you a brief definitions about the agent. So agent is a platform in any pipeline where we execute all the command and ultimately we can see the result on the target node. Guys, there is a question, why we should use Docker container as a build agent? The answer is pretty much simple because we can easily scale it up. Let me give you one example. Let's suppose that there are 10 pipeline jobs and all you want to run it together, right? Then what will happen if you run all in once, there may be a shift load right there may be your system may get heavy loaded and if you use docker container as a build agent you can easily scale it up it means that when your 10 jobs run there will be a 10 containers simultaneously will spin up and on particular that platform you can easily execute your pipeline job and that's the biggest advantage of docker container using as a build agent hi guys my name is avinash and you're watching the learning destinations if you haven't yet subscribed my channel then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so now i'm moving towards the practical session so now i'm going to start the practical sessions and as of now i do have two nodes one node which is called worker hyphen node one which i'm going to use as a agent it means that on this particular node, I am going to start the Docker container and which I am going to use as an agent. And this is my second node, which is the Jenkins node. Okay. So in first shot, what we need to do some changes inside the Docker service file. Okay. And uh, we need to set up the TCP connectivity. So our Jenkins node can easily talk with the uh, Docker agent. This Docker agent. Okay. So now let's change this file and we need to mention here one line so basically we are enabling the tcp connectivity on the port number 4243 you can take the port number 4244 also 4245 also it's totally up to you then after that we need to restart the services but before restart since we changed the daemon so we need to mention here system ctl daemon open reload now we need to start the docker services it's taking a bit time okay so now it's started let's check the status is running fine and now from the Jenkins node we are going to now test the connectivity from the Jenkins node to the uh, agent node whether the connectivity is successfully happening or not and in order to check it we are going to run one call command and the IP we need to give 168 192.168.56.106 is the IP of agent node it means 106 is the IP of this particular node and then we need to give the port number 4243 and uh, then we are going to check the version of the docker so now you can see that we have successfully getting the response right it means that it is successfully communicating with this port number 4243 okay now since we are going to run uh, docker container as a build agent and in order to run the docker container we need to build the docker email so guys this is the docker file i'm going to show you this is the docker file which i have created okay and then after making the uh, then after that i have uh, made one of the docker image and then i post this docker image onto the docker hub so this is the simple doc this is the simple docker file where I have taken one of the Ubuntu images and after that I have installed the OpenSSH server in order to get the connectivity of SSH and after that I have installed the Java packages over there. I have created one Jenkins user and I keep the password of the Jenkins user is the same Jenkins. After that I have started the SSH service. I expose this on the port number 22 and I keep working directly as a home Ubuntu. Okay, so by using this file I have created one 
uh, Docker image and which I have pushed onto the uh, Docker Hub the repository. And this is my repository, Avinash Mato, and this is my Docker name, and which is uh, which comes with the tag latest. So I uploaded this and I push this particular image under the Docker Hub, which I am going to use under the Jenkins as a build agent, okay? So now everything we are going to perform under the Jenkins sections, and we are going to see that how we can set the template, Docker template in order to run the Docker container build. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to show you the Jenkins configurations part, and this is my Jenkins. And under the Jenkins, when you come here, you need to go manage Jenkins. And firstly, you need to make sure that there is a plugins required called Docker. So it should be installed. So in my case, the Docker plugin is already installed. So you can check by this Docker and make sure that the Docker plugin is installed. So I have installed many plugins and you can simply check by the Docker and you need to install this Docker plugin. After that, you need to go manage Jenkins. And since now I'm going to show you that how you can set up the Docker template. And that you can use as a build agent. So you need to go manage nodes and cloud sections, configure clouds. Since you already installed the Docker plugin, so you will be getting these options. You need to select Docker. And here, firstly, you need to put the Docker host URL. Now we need to put the URL which we have set 192.168.56.106 and the port number 4243. This is the same node guys which we are using as a agent, build agent. And you can test the connectivity. So you can see that we are getting the version of our Docker. You keep enable it and expose Docker host. I just keep 10 container cap. You can increase as well. And then after that, you need to go Docker agent template and add Docker template. And here you need to set the label. So here I'm keeping the name Docker slab hyphen taste. Okay. Let me keep the same label here. Enable the label and name also I'm keeping the same. And here you need to mention the Docker image, right? The So the Docker image, which I have already posted into the Docker Hub, and I'm going to use this as a build image. And here we need to give the tag latest. Let me correct it. There is a extra space here. So this is my image. Then after that, you need to do here the connect method and you need to select the connect with SSH. And after that here, use configured SSH credentials. And guys, this credential I have already created and this is the user ID password, the same which I have set under the Docker file. This one, Jenkins, and I kept the password Jenkins, the same user ID and configurations. Let me log out from here. The same user ID and configurations I use here, I added here. And here, non-verifying verification strategy. And one more thing, you need to give here the remote file system, which I have given to Ubuntu. Now, everything looks okay. Let's apply and save it. Now, let's create one of the job and I'm going to give this no job name is testing docker slab and i'm going to create as a freestyle job let me open one more tab of the same jenkins and under the gen under the general sections here is the options restrict where this project and here you need to define the level the level which we have given under the template sections let me show you Go to Docker agent template and the template which we have given is this one, Docker agent template and name is Docker slab test. Okay, so you need to give it here the same name. Then after that, we are going to just simply run one echo command here. Hello, my name is Avinash. Apply, save. Okay, before we run it, let me check that 
So this is the node which I am going to use as a build, build agent. It means that the Docker container as a agent will spin up here. That container will be running here. And as of now, you see that there is a no any container. But the moment when we execute the job, there will be one container will be spin up. Okay, so now let's test this job and say build now. Now, if everything will be okay, there should we can see the container ID and you can see this is the container ID and let's check that whether the process is running or not. So we can see easily there is a one container running as of now. So let's wait for some. Okay guys, so we can see that this job has been successfully executed and we can see that it is successfully executed and this is the echo command which we have run on the particular agent and since the agent we have already run this was the agent as a container it has been spin up and now the work is done so container is also gone now okay let's try one more time let's build it let's check once again the process to re-verify it so this is the second job and soon you will see the container id here okay guys so you can see that all the jobs is successfully running I already tested second time third time now i am testing fourth time and uh, as soon as i click on the build now right you will see that as of now it is saying the offline but soon it will get the uh, particular uh, the container id here and now you can see that this is the container id and same time if i check here we can see container is running this is the container which is responsible to executing the command for this one and soon it will be completed successfully this process so this is over all the process in order to set up the docker container as a build agent inside the Jenkins and this is what I wanted to show you guys okay guys so that's all for the day I hope you really enjoyed my tutorial and this is what I wanted to show you under the sections docker container as a build agent inside the Jenkins so what are you waiting for just go ahead and play with the docker and Jenkins and in between if you face any questions don't forget to write me in the comment sections I will help you there so stay tuned with the learning destinations I will see you in my next tutorial Till the time, thank you so much for watching this and one more request guys, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. Your subscription is really encouraged me to make some useful DevOps videos for all of you guys. Once again, thanks for watching it. You have very lovely day.